Hello and welcome to Veda Day 10. Today is a tag video. I'm going to be doing the my first time tag. Should be a little fun. I tagged Jackie from Enjoying Life's Journey. I will link her channel down below so you can go check her out. She's uh, a mom who has a lot of fun getting fit and it is always fun to watch. So this video, if you've never seen a tag video before, basically it's just like certain questions that go around YouTube and people say, I tag you, so you do this video next. So I am first of all tagging Jackie, but if you have a channel and you would like to do this video, then please go ahead and do it and be sure to leave a comment below with a link to it so I can watch it because I love watching this one. This is one of my favorites. I just think it's interesting uh, seeing everyone's first. So let's jump right in. Number one, my first word. I have been told that my first word was light. I looked up at a light and said lie. So apparently, that was my first word. Number two, my first stuffed animal. I had a lot of stuffed animals, so I'm not exactly sure of my first one. However, as a little kid, I was not really into stuffed animals as like my lovey. I had a blankie that I have to confess, I still have. I don't sleep with it anymore. <laughs> I just have it folded up in one of my drawers. I just can't let it go, I don't know why. But I was more of a blanket kid than a stuffed animal kid. I mean, I had plenty of stuffed animals that I loved, but it wasn't like my first like teddy bear that I had to have all the time. Number three, my first friend. Uh, I grew up, like when I was really little, like a toddler, I had friends, but um, I don't really remember them and they probably don't remember me, but I would have to say my first friend that I made on my own that I remember was when we moved from Ohio to Houston when I was six and her name is Kristen Gray and her dad and my dad worked together and um, her dad, I, this is how I was told <laughs> it went, um, her dad interviewed my dad and was like, hey, you know, I have, I have a little girl and, you know, she's your daughter's age and then we became friends we were best friends like all through high school we kind of you know didn't see each other as much during college but we do still keep up on Facebook so Kristen I would say would be my first friend number four first school crush um, <laughs> uh, I had to when I saw this question I knew exactly I could see his face but I could not remember but I actually remember just before I sat down to do this video his name was Michael McKay and he was this, this was fifth grade, and I have, I don't think I ever saw him after that, like after that year. Maybe he's around there floating around the Facebook somewhere, I don't know. <laughs> Number five, first kiss. You may all be surprised to know that Mike was actually my very first kiss, and bless his heart, he actually asked me before um, he kissed me for the first time, or like, let me take that back. He asked me if, if he could kiss me, and I actually said no. <laughs> and um, our first kiss was in the airport, at the Indy airport when he came to pick me up. I think we have been technically dating for like two weeks or something like that. So yeah, kind of a slow mover here. Number six, first celebrity crush. This is an easy one. This would be Christian Bale um, from Newsies. I know I am not the only 80s slash 90s kid or girl who had Christian Bale as her first crush, but oh my goodness, I still love him, but obviously not, not like that. <laughs> I think he's awesome, but I, I love Newsies. I've watched it, I don't even know how many times. Um, it's been a while, but um, I should probably get that DVD out. I, probably Caleb would like it, right? I don't know. Number seven, first boyfriend. Again, Mike was actually my very first boyfriend. I went on dates, you know, here and there, but nothing really panned out. Nobody was really worth my time. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but yeah, Mike was my first boyfriend and we were engaged 14 months later and married four months after that, so yeah. <laughs> Number eight, first job. I would say my first job would be babysitting, but my first like actual job, like where they took taxes out and everything, I worked at the $1.25 Dry Clean Super Center down the street from our house, and uh, uh, I, I did not like this job. I'm just gonna come right out. I hated it. However, I got really good at it and 
my friend, my my best friend at the time, Bethany. Uh, actually, she didn't live anywhere near the dry cleaners, but she came to work there with me and. I think her starting to work there at the dry cleaners just completely turned it around and made it so much more fun. Um, but the thing about working at the dry cleaners, I worked for a Korean family and sweetest people ever. Oh my goodness, they were so good to me. They were flexible or they allowed me to be flexible. I was in high school and playing volleyball and everything and they were just awesome awesome people and they taught me some Korean so like their friends would come in from their church uh, to, to talk with them or just socialize or whatever and I would greet them with Anahaseyo and which is which is hello or um or Anangha-kaseyo and that was that was what I would say when they would leave that's that's goodbye I learned a couple of things Gamsahamida is thank you and you Korean people out there are probably like oh she's saying this so wrong but their Korean friends would come in and just be so shocked when this like teenage blonde girl would greet them in Korean. It was really fun. I also got to know all of our regular customers. I knew what kind of car they drove. I knew how they liked their starch in their shirts, um, everything. And so it was kind of fun. This is the fun thing about it. And maybe like just how my brain works, but I would see them driving up and I would be like, oh, there's Mr. Martinez, and I would type up his information in the system, run back, get his clothes, and have him hanging there. And it was it was really fun to see their faces when their stuff was already hanging up. So anyway, enough about that. Number nine, first concert. Uh, I I grew up in the 80s and 90s. I was born in 1980, and um, I grew up in church. I did not attend any secular concerts. For a long time have I ever I don't know but my first concert was Michael English for him and somebody else there were like there were three male groups um, who were performing it was for him so anyway so it was a contemporary Christian music concert now there were concerts I, I grew up in a very very large church we, we would have like um, pretty big choir concerts or where you know famous people would actually come in and sing and as far as that goes, I have no idea what that would have been because we were probably there for it. Like, Lauren L. Harris came, um, like Sandy Patty, did Sandy Patty come? I wanna say she did. But those kind of things, I don't really think of that as like a concert. Number 10, first car. The first car that I learned to drive in uh, was a 1991 powder blue GMC Safari minivan. <laughs> I, I learned to drive in that minivan. I actually took that minivan to college and I drove it for a year and, or was it two? No, I drove it for two years. And, uh, and then uh, that we had to trade that in and get a, a new car because that one wasn't working out. And then we drove um, a little red Saturn. And I say we because that was the year my sister was there and uh, with me at the same time. We were there in school at the same time. And... Um, so I drove it mostly, but she drove it also. But my first car was a silver 2003 Toyota Corolla. This was in 2004. And it was like what I bought with my money. And I loved that car. I loved it for 18 days. And then I got in an accident. I was rear-ended. I was number two in a four car pileup. Um, it was not my fault. Um, stuff happens. <laughs> and so... After that, I got my red Chevy S10 pickup truck, which we still drive today, and it is on its last leg. So the first car that I drove was the minivan, but the first car that was mine for 18 days was my um, Toyota Corolla. Number 11, my first blog post. I had uh, my very first, I don't know what the first blog post was, it was probably like an intro post, but um, I had a blog through Zanga, www.zanga.com, X-A-N-G-A.com, and that was back in like 2003-ish, and I loved blogging. Uh, I don't think anyone ever read it, I kind of did it for myself, um, but I just got to a point where I just would really rather talk to a camera. <laughs> Maybe one day if this goes anywhere, maybe I'll add a blog, I don't know. And number 12 is my first video that I posted on YouTube and I am, I did not know, I honestly, I had to go back and check, that's what I have back here. 
and the very first video that I posted was of Caleb at probably like 10 months old or so, maybe, maybe younger than that. Um, it was called I Want My Remote and you can find this on my YouTube channel, but um, it's where I put a little remote on the floor where Caleb was on his belly and I would move it further away and he would get all mad and start waving his arms and crying and then I'd move it close to him and he'd start giggling and everything. So I hope you enjoyed this tag. I sure enjoyed kind of reminiscing and thinking about my first time at these things. Uh, if you would like to do this video, please feel free to do so. I would love to see it. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you like this and subscribe if you would like to see all my VEDA videos. Uh, Jackie is actually tagging me in a video. I don't know what it is yet, but I'm going to be responding to it later this month. So be watching for that. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.